water bath cooker. Just like that. And I have already had some pickle stuff mixed up. I'll show you that here in a second. Here's a couple I've already got the juice in. Then I forgot I had not shown y'all. So I use this little thing and just take this and just scoop it in there like that. That one's already full. Cool. Then um, I normally, I can't find my tongs tonight, so I use to kind of improvise, but I take the seal and I dip it in the hot water and then I place it, I've already dipped on, on top of this and I get a ring put on there and normally I would use both hands. tighten it on there and then what we will do I'll show you in a minute to mix up the pickle pickling juice this is what I use measures wedges and all the instructions are right there on the wall. bag I mean just exactly how I make them just I like that um, I had some already mixed up, but it didn't go as far as I thought from the last time I came. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this pack. Just, well, first I'm going to measure out what I make. And it is three and a third cup of distilled vinegar and seven and one third cups of water. pour this into that and then boil it and then let it cool down just a little bit and then pour it in the jars. So I'm going to stop this for a second and measure all this stuff out and then I'll come right back. Okay, I've measured out my three and one third cup of white distilled vinegar and seven and one third cups of water. Poured it into a, a stainless steel pan and I poured the packet of stuff in there. And I'm stirring it, and as you can see, it's like a really pickly green color, and it's got some little seeds in it, dill seeds. I'm doing my, my range is gas, so it's so do pretty fast, but I've got it on high because I'm gonna get it boiling, and then um, I'll let it cool just a little bit. Uh, so that I can put it in the jars. But we want it to boil and get all that mixed up really nice. Okay. And like I said, I just follow the um, recipe on the back of this. And it tells you, you know, like what you can and can't use. That sort of thing. Uh, do not use an aluminum pan. I knew there was something you weren't supposed to use. Aluminum, but anyway. Okay, so I am going to pause again and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I've got my hot water bath going. Here is the um, pickle, pickling mix. All mixed up. It's already been boiled. And I've got <clears throat> them sitting here because that way I don't spill it. But I'm going to swap this closer because this stuff is very hot. I'm just gonna put this funnel in here and I'm gonna scoop some of this into this. I'm just gonna fill up the jar. I like to try to get some of these seed things in there. Feel it. Be very careful. This is very hot, and um, this is kind of the point where if you've got littles helping you, they need to stand back because uh, you don't want them getting burned by any of this process. So I usually make them leave. Okay, so I'm just gonna check. I, this is a nifty little tool that tells you how much head space you have left in the jar. Okay, so we want half inch head space, which is this. I don't know if you can see that. So I need just a little, because we want it to just touch it. So I need just a little bit more. Use my 
all this stuff seems simple, and it is once you learn it. I kind of had to teach myself. My, my mom was really good at canning, but I kind of had to teach myself how to do it. Kind of one of those things I never did. Um, get it. Her to teach me, I had to teach myself. Okay, so there we go. We've got our half inch headspace, and already scalded these a minute ago. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the lid on there and then got some ring, a ring here. And you can just buy these in boxes. The lids are like this and the rings come out too. And there's different brands. I'll just use whatever I can find. <clears throat> okay, I might not be able to do this one handed. Uh, okay, so I just screw that on there pretty tight. Not super, super tight because once they've been put into the hot water bath and come out, they will seal. So this little thing needs to be up, not in there. Yeah, the thing I forgot to add is I always leave my lid kind of cracked a little bit so a little bit of steam can escape. And also uh, be really, really careful with this whole process. It's really hot and, and could burn a child or an animal. So just make sure that everybody's cleared out of the kitchen when you're canning um, because it could be dangerous and be careful and don't burn yourself okay I'm back I've got my hot water bath and now we're in a jar and I'm only gonna do this show you this once because this is hot and I really need to be careful okay so I've got the lid on there I'm just gonna raise this up and then carefully put it in here not touching the metal sides. Just put it in there. And then make sure when you put the other jars in there that they're not touching each other or touching the sides. Come back, I've got all of the quart jars in there. None of them are touching each other or touching the sides. And then in the middle, I've got a little small pint uh, jar of um, banana peppers. So the um, small jars go for 10 minutes and the quart jars go for 15 minutes, but it always ends up kind of being a little bit longer, almost more like 20 minutes, because I leave it in there just a few minutes, turn it off, let it cool. Um, okay, so I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit. It's boiling. I wanna make sure it's boiling good, but not too, too hot, because it could crack the glass. For this jar of peppers, banana peppers. Um, apparently, they did like I told you, and they preloaded. I didn't have it packed full enough. So, the, what will happen is over time, the things that are at the top will get mushy. So, what I'll do about that is I'll just go ahead and open that and uh, eat it. You know, within a week or so. Of canning it and you can also do that if see how these are all sealed really nice on the top there's no little boom, boom, noise it's, it's on there occasionally you will get one this one did seal but occasionally you'll get one that is not sealed it will look like this and you'll be able to um, this one was sealed but I went ahead and opened it to, to show you something but anyway also I like to uh, always uh, write the date on the top of the pickles. They make really cute little um, labels. Etsy, or I'm sure you can make your own. There's a ball brand of them. Um, I just always, I'm so busy, I just usually grab a Sharpie and write it on there. That, that lets me know how old they are. Uh, and I usually take a picture with my phone so that I can remember if I forget to write the date. So I remember the date. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to share that with you. And I was going to show you that once you open them, and I had already pre-loosened this, but 
Um, I usually take, this will be hard to get off. I usually take something and hold it with my other hand, which I'm holding the camera, but, uh, and just stick that up under there and it'll make a suction noise and pop off. And so you keep that and that. And once you open these, you'll need to keep them in the refrigerator from here on out. <laughs> they probably won't last long because they, they are yummy, yummy. But um, I just wanted to open them up and, oh my goodness, the smell. It's making my mouth absolutely water. Here is, we're going to try one. Let's see if we can make sure you don't eat that deal. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. Mmm, very crunchy, so yummy, just like my mom made and just like my nanny used to make. So, I hope y'all try this and can make them and enjoy pickles. Uh, you'll, you can make your own and enjoy them all through the winter, if they last that long. Thank y'all for watching. Bye. Jar turned out excellent. Mm. These are so good.